Where's the dot, boy? Huh? <laughs> You made it! Yeah! Welcome to my latest experiment. This is a big one, the one I've been waiting for all my life. Ah, uh, well, it's a DeLorean, right? Stay with what me, Marty. All your questions will be answered. Roll yeah. tape. Okay, I'll we'll proceed. Ah, uh, Doc. All right. Is that a Devo? Never mind that now. Never mind that now. Right now. Right now. Right now. All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26, 1985. 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Heidi. Hey, hey, boy, get in there. Now, no, boy. In here you go. Sit down. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, check them. Good. Get that thing hooked up to the car. Watch this. Yeah. Okay. Got it. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. structure both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I set him into the future. One minute into the future to be exact. And precisely, 1.21 a.m. in zero seconds, we shall catch up with him at the time machine. Turn the time circuits on. <laughs> this readout tells you where you're going. This one tells you where you are. This one tells you where you were. Huh. You input your destination time on this keypad. Say you want to see the sign of the Declaration of Independence. Here's a red letter date in the history of science. November 5th, 1955. That was the day I invented time travel. I remember it vividly. I was standing on the edge of my toilet, hanging a clock. The porcelain was wet. I slipped, hit my head on the edge of the sink. And when I came to, I had a revelation, a vision, a picture in my head, a picture of this. This is what makes time travel possible, the flux capacitor. This is heavy duty, Doc. This is great. Uh, does it run like on, on regular unleaded gasoline? Unfortunately, no. It requires something with a little more kick. Plutonium. Uh, plutonium. Wait a minute. Are you... Are you telling me that this sucker is nuclear? No, 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 no. This sucker's electrical. But I need a nuclear reaction to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity I need. Doc, you don't just walk into a store and, and buy plutonium. Did you rip that off? Of course. From a group of Libyan nationalists. 
Come on, let's get you a radiation suit. Jesus. We must prepare to reload. <clears throat> I, Dr. Emmett Brown, am about to embark on an historic journey. What is it, Arnie? Oh, my God. They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Run for it, Marty! Who? Who? Who do you think? The Libyans! Take it my left! Holy shit! can do 90. This is the part coming up, Doc. No, 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 no. This sucker's electrical. But I need a nuclear reaction to, to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. What did I just say? This sucker's electrical. But I need a nuclear reaction to, to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! Gigawatts! Tom, how am I going to generate that kind of power? It can't be done, can it? Uh, look, all we need is a little plutonium. Oh, I'm sure that in 1985, plutonium is available in every corner drugstore, but in 1955, it's a little hard to come by. Marty, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you're stuck here. Whoa, whoa, Doc, I'm stuck here? I can't, I can't be stuck here. I got a life in 1985. I got a girl. My only hope. Marty, I'm sorry, but the only power source capable of generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity is a bolt of lightning. What did you say? A bolt of lightning. Unfortunately, you never know when or where it's ever going to strike. We do now. This is it. This is the answer. It says here, that a bolt of lightning is going to strike the clock tower at precisely 10.04 p.m. next Saturday night! If we could somehow harness this lightning, channel it into the flux capacitor, it just might work. Next Saturday night, we're sending you back to the future! Go! 
Doc, why did you have to tear up that letter? I only had more time. Wait a minute. I got all the time I want. I got a time machine. I can just go back early and warn him. Okay, ten minutes ought to do it. Okay. Time circuit's on. Flux capacitor. Fluxing. Engine running. All right. No. No, no, no. Come on, come on. I still got time. No. No, not again.
truth, Fess. How did you know? I, I, I never got a chance to tell you. What about all that talk? About screwing up future events? The space-time continuum? Well, I figured. What the hell? How about a ride, mister? Jennifer. Oh, you a sight for sore eyes. Let me look at you. Marty, you're acting like you haven't seen me in a week. I haven't. You okay? Is everything all right? Oh, yeah. Everything is great. Doc. I need fuel. Go ahead, quick, get in the car. No, 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 Doc, I just got here, okay? Jennifer's here, we're gonna take the new truck for a spin. Well, bring it along. This concerns her, too. Wait a minute, Doc, well, what are you talking about? What happens to us in the future? We're gonna become assholes or something? No, 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 Marty. Both you and Jennifer turn out fine. It's your kids, Marty. Something has gotta be done about your kids. Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going. We don't need roads. Roads. <laughs> 